Okay, guys. Part 4 and the final part of this Dark Viper AU Expose. I hope you guys have enjoyed it so far. Share Factory only allows me to have a certain number of commentary clips per video. So that's why it has taken me so long, and that's why other reaction videos I've made have taken so long. Now, here we are, three weeks later. Let's do this. Let's let's wrap this up so I can tell y'all some big news coming for my Twitch page. This for a million. This took 12 hours. What is a shark card worth, chat? Eight million is a hundred dollars? So what is this worth, $12? So basically I spent 12 hours here and I'm getting paid $12. Like people joke that the fastest way to grind in these online games is to not play the game and just get a job. It's disgusting, dude. I don't think anyone's defending the monetization system for Grand Theft Auto Online. I really don't. There, I, You have to be stupid to sit here and say, Oh yeah, man, 12 hours for like 12 bucks worth of GTA money? That sounds like a deal, man. You had me sold. No, no one's saying that. So, how about you take that? How about you take that take? And like, not do it. You know? Just grab it by the throat and like throw it off a building. Because that take was terrible. Um, you know, everyone for years has been complaining about the payouts of missions, how expensive some cars are in the game. Everyone complains about it. Everyone has complained about it. And you act like we're just okay with it? We're not. Like, get out of here. You remember in other games, chat, where if your teammates die, you can, like, keep playing? And so your teammates want you to, to succeed and they cheer you on and shit. And there isn't just toxic hatred whenever anyone dies. Because you legitimately want, you know, you're, you're cheering on your teammate and shit. Remember that shit? That was, that was good times, right? In like, any other game that's not this one. Wouldn't it be so cool if you could like, kind of sacrifice yourself for your team's victory? You know, you can't have that kind of fun in this game, unfortunately. Do you know why the mission fails when you run out of team lives and someone dies? I'll tell you why. Because they want to add a challenge to the mission. Now granted, I don't agree with it. I think it's stupid too. But that's why they do it. They want to make it even more challenging. Which, fine, that's fair. But with the aimbot AIs, I kind of think you should be able to play it like a contact mission. Where once you run out of lives, you're just spectator mode. You're not really, like you don't fail, you're just spectator mode. Alright, I'll give you, I'll give you credit there. I'll give you credit there. That's true. And it would be cool if you could like just spectate and cheer on your team from the side, give some call-outs, maybe do some extra stuff, you know, like the hacks or whatever, be able to do some of those from beyond the grave. That would be really cool. Rockstar should do that. That'd be neat. Will they do it? Probably not. Should they? Absolutely. How is it so easy to DDoS from GT Online? So, GT Online has literally no security. So, whenever you join a lobby and a person has a mod menu, your IP address, as well as your general location in the world, is immediately fed to that mod menu. It's possible then for that person to track you and keep a little profile of you and your IP address to know exactly the nanosecond that you log on and any IP addresses that you've used in the past. Even uh, downloads a readout. It's uh, pretty impressive. I mean, at least it would be if Rockstar was a competent company had any level of security at all. That's true. Rockstar has terrible servers. It is peer-to-peer. -peer. It's really stupid. However, 5M is a... it's private servers. They can actually blacklist your IP if you... like, the server owners can blacklist your IP if you cause enough of an issue or if you actually DDoS someone. That's why 5M is better and more secure than GTA Online, because Rockstar uses peer-to-peer -peer servers, which we've known for years are not safe at all. That is the difference between the two, is one cares, one doesn't. Rockstar doesn't care. I'm not defending Rockstar. I'm more or less calling out your own hypocrisies. How do even larger streamers with more people after them deal with this? No one plays GT Online. Have you never wondered why, like, GT Online is dead on Twitch, but uh, roleplay is so strong? The roleplay servers have more security than do GTA, uh, to, than do Rockstar servers. 
No, Fleetwood, no one is playing GT online. There's 258,000 people watching uh, 5M. 5M is not GT online. They're watching role playing service. Rockstar has absolutely no interest in making it so streamers can play GT online. And so it died. All the advertisement that they would have gotten over the years, they just did not give two shits about. It's all done through 5M. Yeah, people stream uh, GT online when there's a new DLC because for the first, like, couple of days at least, the mod menus aren't likely going to be as strong. Because it would take a while before they get fixed. I hate Rockstar? Yeah, I do. I legitimately do. I was saying that's very different from saying I hate everyone who works at Rockstar or something, but the company as a whole is fucking scum. But then again, there aren't many good game companies out there. It's just for me at least, Rockstar hasn't made anything good since 2013. And so it's very hard to have high opinion of them. 5M has its issues though, as it should, because it's not backed by a multi-billion dollar company. I understand, G2 Online having issues, it would be totally understandable if it was run by like four guys in a basement. Right? When it has like all the money in existence behind it, and limitless talents if they wanted it behind it, for it to have any issues at all, let alone issues for eight fucking years, is shameful. There are things that were understood, fixed, and not done by other companies in 2013 that Rockstar did in 2013 that have that are still being felt today. Most of the complaints I have about this game were complaints I had about it in 2013. Fundamentally, when this game was released, stupid fucking decisions were made that are still felt today that anyone in 2013 would have said, you know, this is not something you should do. That's why we have to keep making excuses like, oh, they didn't know it was going to be as successful as it was. They just assumed it was going to be some small thing. But... Well, again, you know, 5M is reigned by a group of people who actually care. The servers are reigned by people who care. Rockstar doesn't really care about the community as a whole. They care about trying to make as much money as possible. Which, again, that's, that's fair. They are a company. They're allowed to do that. However, we as the community have to understand that, <clears throat> you know, the next installment in the Grand Theft Auto franchise cannot happen if they don't have the money for it. Which they most certainly do. They most certainly have the money for it. But, let's say hypothetically they didn't, and they needed money, and this is why GTA is in the state it's in. Let's say hypothetically that's why. Then I can understand that. I really could understand that. But that's not why GTA is in the state it's in. We all know that. And again, 5M is better. I want to build a PC to play, like, to play PC exclusives, play on Steam, all that stuff. And I especially am excited to play 5M. Even though it is owned by Rockstar now, I'm expe I'm especially excited to play it. So, yeah, that's, that's where we're at right now, people. That is where we are at. Only a couple more things to, only a couple more clips to respond to. And I can announce, or I can make my big announcement for my Twitch page. So, yeah, let's do it. I don't have any armor or snacks yet because a developer eight fucking years ago decided not to regenerate those. Think about how much suffering a particular developer must have caused by that one fucking decision. Do you, do you think there's skill involved in going to the shops? Because what we're gonna have to do after this. Uh, we're one more attempt to so have to go to the fucking shops because that's skill, man. That's enjoyment. Like, man, everyone loves fucking buying shit at the supermarket. Man, it's gonna give people more fuck opportunity to do it. The leadership who told the devs to make it so we'd be spawn outside of the tank here and have to get into the tank every single time, losing precious health. It's the leadership's fault, man. Really. Again, just refer back to my point about the dev team and why it's not their fault in one of the previous parts, because honestly, it's getting repetitive to explain it every single time he brings up the dev team. So just refer back to one of my previous points about it. You've been signed out of Rockstar Games? Oh no. But how do I sign in? Why is there only a button to quit the game? I can't press the sign in button. You must be signed into the social club to play Grand Theft Auto 5. But I want, I want to sign in. I did press home. This is the home button. Who made this game? So we'll try the Rockstar game launcher. I'm aware it's already running. I want you to open it. It's loading. It's loading. Still loading. 
Still loading. It's in the process of loading currently. I have a funny feeling, chat, that it's not going to load. A game is currently running, but it's not Rockstar. Rockstar has this special ability to take the simplest thing, make it complicated, and fail at it miserably. Please solve this puzzle so we know you are a real person. There is no way a computer would be able to figure out how to log into this fucking awful game. Pick the dice pair adding up to five. No, I don't know, man. This is some hard shit, dude. Uh, 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 I'm gonna go with this one. Just gonna, just gonna completely guess this. More! I'm no longer in school, Rockstar. Oh my god. Why is it doing this? This has never happened before. Wow. Oh god, why? I, I, I really, if it makes me do that again. I want to cry. This company can't be this garbage. It can't. Who do you think is hacking into my social club account? You think I'm paying my bills with my fucking online fucking money or some shit? What the fuck? If I have two-factor authentication, why, why, why make me go through the puzzle? Why make me go through the puzzle? Be right back, guys. Gotta get get my phone. This has more security than my bank. Walk up to the teller at my bank, and they're like, "Look, here's some dice." Fucking pick which ones add up the five. Okay, we're in. Can we now play the game? Hooray! We're in. I'm that elite hacker guy. I managed to get into a video game. Alright, this is the last part of the video. So, you're complaining that there's a security measure to make sure you are who you say you are and he, like someone can't just set up a botnet to go and hack people's accounts. You're complaining because there's actually security to log back in when you complained about how the game itself has no security. So wouldn't you rather your account have security so you could actually, you know, still play the game and not have to buy it again and make a new account? and start all over from scratch because I mean dude you've got like 10,000 hours in the story mode of GTA <laughs> like I don't think you want to lose that account so why are you complaining about the security measures they have to make sure that it doesn't happen just explain that one to me that wraps it up like that right there wraps it up entirely so thank you all for watching and thank you if you watched all four parts. This is where we announce the big thing for Twitch. I am currently in the process of setting up my donations, my subs, all that stuff for my Twitch page. I am in the process of doing that. If you're here from my Twitch, you get to say that you knew about this before the people on my Twitch page knew about this. So, yeah. Just want to throw that out there. Thank you all for watching. This took me a long time to make. And yeah. yeah have a wonderful day, evening, night, wherever you are. And I'll catch you later. Peace out.